Okay, today I am going to make a video by request from my subscribers and some of the comments they left want me to show them how to install Bluetooth on Windows 7. Well, Windows Vista and Windows 7 both are almost the same. Uh, Windows XP, of course, is a lot different. I made a video about three months ago on how to install it in Windows XP. And believe you me, it is absolutely no difference whatsoever to install it on XP, Windows 7, or Windows Vista. It's all the same. All three operating systems come with a built-in system file called FSQURIT. And that there will bring up Bluetooth, but without the device to run Bluetooth, unless you have it built in, like a laptop or even a desktop, some desktops has Bluetooth built in, but I've never had one myself, but I know they do, just like some of them have wireless built in, which this one here does, my desktop, which is an HP, A6710N, so, but I still don't have Bluetooth, so, Unless you got a laptop that has Bluetooth built into it. And one way to find out, real quick, if you do or not, just go right here to start. Type in device. And you're going to see device manager come up. Click on it. And as right now, you don't see no Bluetooth. You do not see a Bluetooth emblem. So I'm going to minimize that for now and keep device manager up. So if you go down here and type in Bluetooth, you're going to see Bluetooth file transfer come up right there. Click on that. <coughs> As you can see, it brought it up and it's coming up. And what's loading is that one file that I told you. But without the hardware to run Bluetooth, this here will not work at all. And even then, with the hardware, this is the file that's going to load. And if you put in your hardware, even with this software, this file that brings this up is the one that's going to load first. Because it was already in the system files. So remember... When you install the software that I tell you to install, and after it has installed it, and you have Bluetooth running, there is something you've got to do. You've got to update the driver. And what you'll be doing is updating the driver to the software's driver, not the one that was built in. Because it will pick up this system file that was already in the software first. At least it's always been a practice with me. That's the way it works. So knowing this, I mean, you can send a file, but still yet, or receive a file, but there's nothing there to send to. If you had devices in here and running Bluetooth, and you'd added devices like a laptop or a phone, whatever, iPod, then they would be here. You could click on it and so say send that file to that one. So we'll get out of here. What you're going to need in order to run it is a Bluetooth device. Here's a Bluetooth dongle right here. This is what I use. I have one exactly like that. They have them made like this. They're made in a lot of different shapes. But they're a USB dongle. Some are faster than the others. Some uh put out a longer range or pick up a longer range. This near works perfect for me. <coughs> I got it off eBay for about six or seven dollars. Uh, this in here, I seen it on there and it was practically the same price, but I like the looks of this one. So uh, you can pick up your dongle at Walmart, Radio Shack, any place that sells computer parts like that, like CDs and 
etc. You can try it there or off eBay. Just type in Bluetooth dongle. And it'll bring up everything on Bluetooth dongle. See what the prices are. But uh, I got this about 6 or $7 in free shipping. And I think it took about three days to get it to me. But that is what you got to have, a Bluetooth dongle. Unless you have built-in Bluetooth. So we'll get out of here. And to today's video is going to be how to get Bluetooth on Windows 7 and Vista 2. Things you should know. Like needing a dongle if you need one or not. Do I need software installed? Yes, you do. What kind of software do I need? You're going to need the Bluetooth radio enumulator software. How will I know if it's working? I'm going to show you one that does work after you have installed it. So we'll get out of here. And right here uh, is a website that you can go to and get the software that you need. Right here. HTTP Bluetooth installer dot com. That's all you got to have. If I copied that and put it right there in my browser, it would go right to it right now. And I'm going to show you something before I do that. All right. I have my device manager up here right here now. So I'm going to plug in my Bluetooth dongle right this minute. And as you can see, it just came up, but it's got the radio, but you will see as soon as it loads, it's going to have the enumerator with it. It might take it a second to load the software. As you can see, it's changing. All right, now we have the enumerator loaded and the Bluetooth radio. And right here is my Bluetooth icon that shows me everything I can do. So, after you install your software and your Bluetooth icon comes up right here and you know what's in Device Manager right here. What you want to do is click on the radio, Bluetooth radio, right click, go to properties, and then properties, go to driver, and you want to update the driver, and it will put in the new driver out of the software. That's what you must do in order to make this work. But otherwise, it's going to tell you under details that you're running FSQURIT and with right now it's running this so we'll get out of here I've already done it don't have to do it so now knowing my software is installed see I can click on this and I can go to open settings alright under settings <coughs> you got options right here you leave those two checked this and here is if you want an icon like this and right here down in the notification area and it might come up in your box if it does just grab a hold of it or right click say pin to taskbar or just move it down here so you'll have it right out there where you can see it and if you want somebody to find your Bluetooth device, click this right here. Now, this here is radiating uh, signals out for somebody to find the device. But you don't want everybody in the neighborhood to. Only people you trust, which is probably yourself right there in your own house, you want your laptop to find it or you want your phone to find it. Otherwise, make sure it's unclicked. Otherwise, it's going to be on all the time, and the way people tries to hack you these days, it's just a security thing to make sure it stays unchecked, and that is under, if you go in here and click on open settings, 
So you see we're under settings right now. So there, uh, now that that uh, I have it running and everything, I'm going to show my devices that I have added to it. As of lately, I have added my wife's laptop and my cell phone, which I take pictures and send to my PC. I can upload them to wherever I want, like Facebook or anywhere, or send them to my friends. And our, we switch files back and forth with it, sometimes pictures, sometimes uh, that without having to load it on a USB, we'll just send it straight across. It's so simple, you know. So if you don't have a device that um, is on here and you want to add one, make sure you got your Bluetooth turned on on your phone or your laptop or whatever that you're wanting to add and click add a device and it will find it. If there's one in the area, it'll find it. Now I don't have nothing else turned on. Our laptop's turned off. My phone's turned off and she just took the phone with her. So there's nothing here for it to find. It's going to search till it finds some for quite a while, but it will eventually quit. So if it finds it, it'll put it in here just like a picture of that phone will be right here or that laptop will be right here. You click on it and say next. And it'll give you a number to pair it with. So if I had a cell phone here right now, I would show you. But with that being said, remember that um, uh, you can go here and uh, get you a dongle if you have to have one. And uh, get that installed. Now if a CD comes with it, you can try that. If it don't, then you go get the software that I'm going to put in my description. And if you see it on my description in in this video, then you can right click and tell it to open in a new tab. But if you just click on it, then it's gone. Uh, YouTube will redirect you to get that software. So it'll pull you away from the video while you're doing it. Then you'll have to go back to the video. So I'm going to probably put that in the description. If it comes from me, it'll be coming from my Dropbox where I keep files on the internet, my Dropbox. Otherwise, if you want to do a straight download, then right here, we'll take this. I'm going to copy that right now. I'm going to copy it. That website. And we're going to go... Uh, to the internet <coughs> and we'll just go get on the internet and what I'm going to do is click that and say right click and say paste and go to the website so I can do that with Chrome and this will be the website that I just gave you bluetoothinstaller.com so it'll show you right here what the software is uh, and all the instructions about how, what it's going to do while it's installing. You go scroll right down to here and right here you will see that it has 32 bit version and it has 64. Download both of them because uh, it's got one for either version of Vista or Windows 7 or the 32-bit will work on Windows XP also the 32-bit will so if you get them both maybe one of your friends needs it you have it keep it in your backups in case you get another computer you want to transfer it and these are free downloads when you click on it it's going to download right then you can save it unless it just does it automatically like it does my Chrome and or you can get it out of my description if I put it in there. It's going to still have the same software right there. And it is free download. You don't need a download manager. You don't need nothing. Just 
scroll right down to where it's at right here and there you go and once you get it download then uh, install the software and then plug in your dongle or turn on your Bluetooth and let it update and it should be ready to go so I'm gonna get off here and just remember that uh, if you have to get you a dongle you can get it at Walmart or anywhere now I'm gonna uh, in this video and I want to let you know that I appreciate all the comments of all the subscribers so far that has asked me to help them and I've done always done my best to help them and usually I do and anyone that wants to subscribe I appreciate it and that way you'll know when I update some videos or make a new one maybe there's something there that can help you sometimes I do games intros to games and stuff and uh, I do a lot of hidden object games. I like to play them. So uh, until the next time, this is Shannon Doyle signing off.